Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be this um, semi-dramatic, dark type of winter formal look because I know a lot of winter dances and proms or whatever your school has. I know my personal high school has a like Christmas winter dance coming up. So I wanted to do this look and give everybody some ideas on what to do, what to wear. Um, this was the one that I wore at the last winter formal type dance. And um, I just basically wanted to create this look for anybody maybe needing some inspiration on what to do. You know, whatever. Um, I hope you like it. Please thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe. And Thanks for watching. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use the Clinique Turnaround Overnight Radiance Moisturizer and this is just a sample size and this is a very important step because you don't want your face to be very dry when you're at a special event. So. Think of all the, that the next step is primer, and this is an important next step because you want your makeup to last all night through dancing and whatever else might be going on, sweat, you know, all that stuff. So I'm using the Almay Smart Shade, and I'm just going to dot that all over my face. I want a yacht, and really that's not. And I'm just going to mist my face with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I like to do this before because it seems to make my makeup last longer and stay on better on my skin. And now that you applied all your priming, moisturizing, all the like before steps, we're going to move into the actual makeup look. So first I'm just going to scotch tape off around my eyes. Fill my stocking with turnouts tips for tips. Show me I'm the first line, Santa baby. So her down the chimney tonight. Alright, and I'm gonna be using the Naked 2 palette like always. I use this because it's my go-to palette. It's um every neutral nude shade that you could ask for plus the super dark black which we are going to be using today so I'm going to start out with taking this um, next to the darkest color this is called busted and I'm going to be applying this in my crease no, I don't mean as alone, Santa buddy. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Hurry down the chimney tonight. Oh, hurry down the chimney tonight. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see. Next I'm going to be taking this tease color which is normally what I would use for my crease color on a day to day look and I'm just going to be applying this above that eyeshadow that I just laid down. I'm also blending as I go along, that way I won't have to blend all this out once we have all the other dark shadows Christmas won't be wrapped under a tree. I 
Alright, and we're gonna go ahead and do the darkest shade of all. This is the very dark black. This is called Blackout. And you're just going to apply this in the very end outer crease or the outer V. Next we're going to be doing the mid lid and we're going to be using this second lightest color, this is half baked. And then we're going to be doing the outer mid lid, and for that we're going to be using the third lightest shade, this is Chopper. Just like the ones I used to know Well, treetops glisten Now since the look that I'm going for is a little bit darker than this, I'm going to mix the two darkest colors that we've used before and I'm just going to buff that back into my crease. And now I'm just going back with half baked slash chopper to brighten up my lid because it's gotten a little murky since I darkened up everything. And now the last step is to highlight your brow bone. And for that, I'm going to be using this third one. This is Booty Call. And I'm just going to blend that out a little bit since it does look a little harsh. Alright, and now it's time to take off the tape. Alright guys, and these super sharp lines from where we took off the tape is what we're going to be using to judge where to draw our wing liner. And 
and I'm just using, I think this is the L'Oreal Infallible, maybe not Infallible, I'll link it in the description if I can find it, it just looks like this, it's just a fine tipped, kind of, almost like a sharpie, it's really easy to draw your wings with if you're not good at drawing wings, kind of like myself, so um, I'm just going to draw a wing, and I'm just going to kind of do it really quick, but um, if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial, then let me know in the comments. After your wings are done, I am going to be using this L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner to do my bottom line and my tight lining, just because it's a lot less intense and dramatic than the other kind of marker that I was just using. Merry Christmas, ladies. Merry Christmas, Mr. Bublé. Are you ready to sing a little Jingle Bells? Yeah. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh All the fields we go, laughing all the way Bells on Bob Tillman, making spirits bright What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight Alright guys, and going back to the eyeshadow, I am going to be taking an angled brush like this and I'm going to be putting that second darkest color busted on my lash line and buffing it out. Next guys, I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows and nothing really insanely different about it than my normal brows. Um, other than I am going to be using a stick wax to set them down so that they essentially don't move anywhere and it's going to be easier to lay down your brows. Alright guys, and the next step that I'm going to be doing is actually applying chapstick because I definitely forgot to do it and anytime that you're going to apply lipstick you need chapstick to make sure that your lips aren't dry when you go to apply your lipstick and it looks like a hot mess. <coughs> now that that's done, so I'm going to be doing my mascara and I'm going to use false lashes but um, actually I feel like this look is dramatic enough to go on its own with your natural lashes and your own mascara. So I'll do my mascara and I'll be right back. And for my foundation, I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation and I am in white. Yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. I'm going to conceal my under eyes now. Yourself, a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. And I'm also going to use this concealer to highlight. From now on, our troubles will be miles away.
This is different than my normal contour routine. I'm going to be using a stick foundation to contour today. This is 310 in the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, which is quite a few shades darker than my natural skin tone. So I'm going to be using this dark shade to contour. Gather near to us once more through the years. We all will be together If the fates allow Hang a shining star Upon the highest bough And have yourself A merry little Christmas night. All right, and I'm going to set everything now. And I'm using the same translucent powder I always have. This is the Maybelline Powder Finishing Veil, and it's translucent. Faithful friends who are dear to us. Gather near to us once more Through the years we all will be together If the fates arrive So hang a shining star Alright, and moving back to mascara, since I was doing my face while I was letting the first coat dry, I'm um, gonna move back and reapply and more coat. yourself a merry little Christmas. We're moving on to the final steps, and everything is coming together. I'm gonna be using the Benefit Rocketeer Blush to dust this right over top of my contour. Or right above, I should say. And then I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match in Baby Blossom to put it on the apples at my cheeks. I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. And taking a kabuki blush and one when you out. walk down the street, say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet. And then now time for a lip color. Oh, I almost forgot a really important step. We are going to highlight using the Becca highlighter. This is a very important step since you want to look glowy and not natural, but you want to look a different gray by Clinique. And I'm just gonna apply this like I would any other lipstick. Oh, oh, the mistletoe is hung where you can see. Somebody waits for you. Just so once for me. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And in case you So guys, now that you can see the look kind of put together oh, in a, a winter formal dress sort of like this, Christmas I hope that it makes you, you know, put everything in perspective and see if you do like this look, if you want to wear this look or not. And um, I will play a close up at the end so that you can see if you do like it, if you do want to wear it. And if you do wear it, please send me pictures and let me know. And I hope everyone has a wonderful time wherever you wear this. You know, maybe you want to wear this as a daily look. I hope that you have an awesome time wearing it. So please send me pictures if you decide to recreate it. And thumbs up if you like this video. Bye. For Christmas. You can plan.
on me. Please have snow and me soon too. And presents by the tree. Christmas Eve.